Hi y'all, it's Neva and Captain Amazing and he camped in the van again tonight. Okay, well, he camped in it. We've camped in it before. This is his first night sleeping in it at the home. Driveway. Yep. I slept in it the other night. So look, and there's so this is our wrap up and putting together well, let's be honest. Oh, that's in my hair. Uh, let's be honest. Um I don't edit much. I'm gonna try to get better at that, but right now, nah. Um, oh, this is in the moment. It's cool. This is in the moment. Yeah. Okay, so we slept in the van last night. We were going to sleep with all three dogs because they've got to get used to it, and so do we. But it's very freaking hot. The tent would have been different because they can get away from us. I mean, not that I don't love them, but I have two big dogs and a small dog, and they were going to be on top of me, and I was going to be miserable because I'm grumpy. That's and the they, way it is. And they never stay still. And they just they were just out. wound up. So, and then after the other night, I was trying to get my stuff out here and then going to go back in and get Ziggy and Monroe and Baby escaped and took off on a run. And it was a whole debacle. <laughs> and then it ended up Ziggy was too wound up to be in the van with me because she was wound up because her sisters had run off. Anyway, so... None of that worked to eat last night either. We'll figure it out, though. It's a process, and, you know, for right now, we're not going permanently. I wish Makes we could. Sense. Man, that trip to Colorado gave me the travel bug, y'all. I just want to go. Um, we were going to... Look, so, there's clips of... Well, I can't put clips of my niece's um, play. We went there Friday. No, Saturday. Friday. 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 Went there Friday. But... um. I can't put those in because it's got other people's kids and stuff in it. So just know that Friday we went to Friona and um, watched my niece's play. It was excellent. Uh, well, she was great. The play was, the play itself. I don't. I don't. I didn't like it. It's but just very dialogue heavy. Like a there was funny parts. It's just not good. And um, I have my coffee. Look, coffee, yarn, and speak. And usually I'm. Don't steal it. You can take the last one off. The last one off. Yes. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so we did that. And then we were going to go to the Cheeseburger Festival on Saturday. We had some plumbing problems. That's never fun, is it? We needed to get it done. Because, okay, so our hot water has been dripping for a while. Well, the other day it turned into a stream. And so we needed to fix it. We thought we were going to have to get a plumber. But Captain Amazing added to his list of Ability. abilities and mm -hmm. watched some YouTube stuff and he fixed it. I'm so proud of him. That's and awesome. Skill set. So, yeah, I should have videotaped him fixing it. But our bathroom's kind of small and he needed his room because I know when I do stuff like that, and especially if it's something I've never done before, I just don't want to be crowded. Um, so so, but yeah, so we did that instead of go to the cheeseburger festival. And I'm kind of glad we didn't go to the cheeseburger festival because, as I'm sure you guessed, it's outside. No, oh, it's like, it got up to 106 the other day. Not to business. Too freaking hot. I will melt on top of being sick. So we didn't do that. And then I really kind of wanted to go. So when we missed that in the daytime, I thought, oh, we could always go to the, I think it's called Party Under the Stars, or I don't know, there was Somewhere. at uh, one of the state parks close to here, um, Oasis State Park, they have this thing where the astronomy club gets together, and it's free to the community, and you can look at stars and stuff, and I've never gone, but I've always wanted to. Well, by the time we got everything done, it had already started, and because we were going to do that, and then camp at Oasis State Park. So, since that didn't happen, we camped in our driveway, and it was actually okay. Once it cooled off some, um, Baby did, our small dog, she did sleep with us last night. She sleeps in our room anyway, so. She's a cute. She's a pain in the butt. But, okay. so that's what we've been doing, like, that's about it, and we've got clips from the week. I don't know how exciting they are, but they will come after this, um, 
I'd like to know if you guys like the way it is where, because I used to try to put like the unboxings in with other videos. If like the Misfits Market video and the Thrive Market video that um, I did this week that I, you know, posted, um, let me know if that, that's kind of a good thing is to just do that and not try to fit it into another video because I enjoyed making it. Uh, next time I'm going to have LJ pretend like he's like one of those um game show ladies and I'm making be real dramatic. I'll be Vanna White. Her. There you go. I'll channel my inner Vanna. Vanna White. Okay. So Vanna White does have yarn. So hmm. Vanna's choice. Okay. I'm getting distracted. So there's that. Um, oh, I was going to say something. Oh, so I was going to tell you that the, the codes, referral codes on the Thrive Box, there's a referral code on that video. There's a referral code in the description box. And, um, if you go to it, it saves me, it saves you 40% on your first purchase and, it, or so it saves you 40% on something. And then it saves me. $40 over like three boxes, I think it is. I, I, yeah, but it saves me some money, but that's not why I want you to use it. It saves you money. If you decide to try it, at least it's a cheaper way and you've, uh, you've seen what I got. And if you want to wait till I get a few more boxes, then that's cool too. Um, Misfits Market is not like 40%, but you do get a percentage off of your first order. And that's, that referral code is in the, and I, I just put them in there so that if you guys decide you wanted to try it, it'd be a little cheaper. Because I got, I think I got a special uh, with one of them. But they've always looked interesting and it's one way for LJ and I to get vegetables and especially some stuff that we've never tried. Because it is discounted and that's a good thing. And it's organic food. And so organic is usually super expensive in the grocery store. Then also, if you've not commented on my race to a thousand video, um, go do that because I'm trying to think, you know, I, it's going to be, um, an Amazon card or a gift card, I should say, cause that maybe I'll let you pick. Um, if you get chosen off of mine or whoever gets chosen off of whoever's, I will send them a gift card, but I also might send, so What was I going to say? <laughs> um, I was just trying to get my coffee. Um, but yeah, I might send the winner a little something personalized too. Who I don't know yet, but you will for sure get a um, gift card. And from me, regardless if Cindy gets to a thousand, or I get to a thousand first. And I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check with Deborah. She was all in, but she's been very busy. So she hasn't made her video. And so... Not that I'm to a thousand yet, but, um, I have to see if she still wants to be in it and then I'll update y'all. Um, cause I don't want to put her in it and then her be like, well, I didn't make a video. You know, that's not fair, but you'll at least be getting two gift cards. One for me and one. Well, I, I think Cindy's doing a gift card cause I think we said we do it. In, do it internationally. Yes. Okay. And then <laughs> I've got to get organized when I start my, um, monthly giveaways um i need to get organized it's gonna start after after i draw for my celebrating love and life and the whole i will start them when love and life um is over and after one of us hits a thousand because then i can ship that all out and then i can figure out to, how to start doing my monthly um, giveaways. I'm going to try to be organized about it. I'm going to send y'all a questionnaire and you don't have to answer all of it, but it's just questions so that I know you better. So say you don't crochet. I think almost everybody that watches me crochets, but say you don't crochet or whatnot, or you don't like tea, or you like coffee, but you don't like tea, or you don't like either one, or you like tea and not coffee. You get the idea. That way I can kind of personalize it. Sometimes it might be a gift card. Sometimes it might just be a card with a stitch marker. You know, it just depends on the month and how things are going. But yeah, and then when I do hit a thousand, guys, I've got quite a few people wanting to collab with me. Um, have you watched uh, 
Queen's Knit and Crochet. Bridget, why can't I remember the name of your channel? I will link her down below. She has offered, when I get to a 1000 to donate one of her bags that she sews, and they are freaking cool. So I'm excited about that. Um, I have a few other people wanting to collab. Like, some people are going to do a video. It's going to be a whole thing, kind of like uh, Christmas and July fairies. Or if you watched Pup and, Pups and Crochets, uh, I don't remember, was it her one-year anniversary? I think that's what it was. So, yeah, um, where, like, you know, I have a, a lot of creators that are going to collab with me, and then they all choose a semi-finalist, and then I choose the big winner, and then they all send something to the big winner. Almost sounds like I'm saying big wiener. Um, big winner. And so, yeah, um, and then, you know, and then I, of course, will be sending something out. And so, but, um, update on that. I'm making, is that the right? No, that's not. But anyway, that's what's going to happen when I get to a thousand. Okay. I was going to tell you my monthly giveaway. I wasn't going to have it international, but if you don't mind just getting like a card and a little tea, um, if you get drawn. You know, because sometimes that's all I'm going to have money for. And for sure, shipping out of... But I would still love uh, my, my family members that are not within the United States to join in that. So, um, if you're interested, how it works is just email me and say that you're going to be interested in being in the monthly giveaway. When I get it started, I'll have a list of people. I'm going to have their addresses already. So that way, no trolls can try to take their stuff. And I will, like, do the... I'll pick it somehow. It'll, I mean, it'll be fair. I won't personally, some type of something in the universe will pick the name and then we will, um, and then I'll send you a little something and that'll be every month, whoever's on the list, because I don't really want to do a Patreon. Like this isn't so that I can get more subscribers or make more money, whatever. It's just because I want I want to celebrate the people who already are subscribed to me. And so, to me, that's the way because you've got to stay subscribed to me to know if you won. You, you know, that you get the idea. People have done that before. Um, but yeah, so I've got to remember Link Bridget. Um, but I've been crocheting. I, Monday is Mental Health Monday, but tonight maybe I'll get some of my stuff together. I don't have anything completely completed. Is that how you say? It? Oh, that didn't sound right. But it's the idea. It's not a lot of them just have a little bit to do to finish them up. Um, but I'm kind of just I'm whipping stuff out. Okay, whip, whip, whipping yeah. stay, whipping it out. Oh, that. Oh, I didn't even think about it that way. Anyway, my projects. I'm like making them up and then adding details later. If that makes sense, like sewing in ends, sewing whatever on, gluing whatever on, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, maybe tonight if LJ wakes up in time, cause you know, he's got a nap for work. Um, but if he wakes up in time, we'll do it tonight. And then if t not, then tomorrow I'll do mental health Monday, probably in the, the van and I'll have him record me. Cause I do have, I know you think I haven't been crocheting. I mean, cro forgot about my beautiful crochet people, huh. but, um, I haven't shown anything in a while. So I just now like not too long ago, as you know, got my crojo back and then we were on vacation and. Yeah. Well, this is the first time I've been able to say we went on a vacation, like, and really felt like we went on a vacation. Honestly, it was. We're going to start taking weekend vacations, though, for as long as whatever, when we can, vacations. when we've got the money. Because I think our our anniversary is August 4th, <clears throat> yep. and that's a Thursday, but the anniversary of my mom's death is August 5th. Whole crazy story why that is but i'll do that on a finding neighbor video another one i think but um anyway so he works the night of our anniversary which he might be able to take that off i don't know if he has enough hours but we're trying to save up his hours for october that's but yeah um but the weekend would be fine in fact as long as i'm away for friday because that day always hits me real hard um in case you didn't know my mom died of copd and she was on hospice and she died at 
at my house. Sorry. And, um, you know, I was there right till the end. I had sat with her at the hospital for a few days. And so, yeah. And I'd just like to be away for that day. And so I think we're going to try if they're do if they're allowing camping by then in Rio do. So I think we're going to go there because that's a three hour drive. It's up in the forest. And I think we're going to try to take all three dogs um, for that trip because it's only three hours three hours 45 minutes something like that away and so that's a perfect weekend vacation and then we've even got a few others picked out that are like maybe the most like five hours away so that's good um i'm kind of rambling on this but you know i want to wrap up the week with y'all other than that nothing exciting really happened um we do have i think we have a referral code for our walmart plus so i'm gonna check and if we do, I'm going to link that down below. And it should, I think it should save y'all something if you want to try Walmart Plus. I think it's worth it because we can get anything we want delivered pretty much. As long as if it's cold or frozen, it has to come from our store, I believe. But as long as they have it in stock, you know, we can get it. And then like other stuff, you know, that that they advertise that's on the walmart.com comes from other places of course but we save on shipping we don't have to get out of the house um the virus is uh is going up what is it it's uh cases are going up. yeah cases are going up my i just woke up also uh if you have the then you the, not the virus but the walmart plus then whenever you're shopping at the actual store you can check out while you're just walking around yeah if you have the app on your phone you can scan stuff as you go. Sorry, I cut him off. Whoops. And then you go up to a register, like a self-checkout or whatever, and all you gotta do is just scan the screen, and it gives you a receipt on your phone. So you just walk by the lady or dude or whoever, and he said dude. Dude. Um, but yeah, so I'm a child this morning. I'm sorry. So yeah, yeah. um, it. I think it's worth it. It's it's worth the hassle of. Like if you're in store, because sometimes I like to go in the store because if I'm, if it's something I know, I don't want them to substitute and not that I was disappointed. I talked to y'all about that, about the fact they let us keep it and they <coughs> took it off. But yeah, um, you know, there's some things I like to shop for in the store. So that's nice to be able to scan it as you go. And because sometimes by the time I'm through the store, um, I just want to get out like I'm real hot and dizzy and I don't want to stand at the checkout so that that works well I need to start keeping um, market bags in here and taking them into Walmart with us because then we have it already bagged too because the last time we didn't even bag it I mean, now that's <laughs> not but it leaves a lot of stuff rolling around your vehicle no, so funny. yeah funny, I, not funny. I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get some market bags and put in here I've got to make some up too soon i think those will sell maybe I, it's always own, hit and miss around here what and i have my own shopping bag yes i can i can put one that has captain amazing on it there you go we are really? gonna try to get some merch made up but i think i'm gonna wait till i think i'm gonna wait until i get over a thousand and then it'll um you know you'll be able to buy merch but also then maybe sometimes i can add merch my merch to you know your winning or whatever oh an update on the you know what i'll do that in a whole nother one forget it but i do have people i have two people that have submitted something two or three people for sure i know two please don't be mad at me if i can't remember exactly how many but um i only have two for the celebrating love and life giveaway i'll link that down below and then i I mentioned um, Halloween all year round, and I think I only have two submissions for that one, but that one is going to be a year round thing. But I have decided whoever sends me photos of stuff that you've made, you know, within that year from October to October, I think when Octo when Halloween hits, I think that I might do a little giveaway of, uh, you know, the more you make them, I'm not going to say that. We'll figure out how, the details, but I'll probably do a giveaway for whoever participated in that because I appreciate people participating in this stuff. So 
I think that's it. We're almost at 20 minutes and I've got stuff to add to it. So I don't know if I remembered every, anything. If I forget to put some in the description box, let me know. And if you need to know something more, something more about something, let me know. Email me or something and I'll give you the answer. But cheers, y'all. Um, it's a Sunday morning and it's the seven it's the seventeenth. Oh, and it's my cousin Rainey's birthday. I'll link her down below. I would love it if you would go and comment happy birthday on one of her videos. Happy me. birthday, Rainy. Happy birthday, Rainy. And so I think that's it. I love y'all and I will be back with a crochet video either today or tomorrow, hopefully. Love y'all. This is Friday and we are headed to Friana. We're almost there. Um, my niece has, um, the only like niece, not my grades, but my niece that is left in school. Um, my niece Melody has a play tonight and the last few years, I can't remember why, but there's always been a reason I missed it, whether I was sick or whatever. So we're going tonight. We were going to spend the night. We were going to like camp in my sister's backyard or in the van or something, um, and go to the cheeseburger festival and save on gas. But something's going on with our bathroom that I have to figure out so I've got to go home tonight so I don't know if I'll go to the cheeseburger festival I really wanted to go to show y'all like you know there's supposed to be live music and whatnot but I don't know so if you guys were really looking forward to that I'm sorry I mean we still may go I don't know it depends on the progress tonight on the figuring out the deck of bathroom and um yeah it is what it is, right? So, um, yeah, we're um, headed, to, like I said, to Friona to watch my niece. I'm going to see my sister for a little bit, then we're going to go her mom, my niece's mom, which is my sister. Boy, you didn't meet all that, did you? Um, we're going to stop there first. Um, my kids should already be there, and then we're going to go watch the play, which I don't know what the play's about. But my niece is in summer drama every year. I'm so very proud of her. It's something she's stuck with. And, um, yeah, she, to meet her, you would never guess. I can't wait to see her act because she's very shy, like, withdrawn, shy. I don't know what to call it. She's just not real animated, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what it's like to see her on the stage. But, um. Yeah, uh, so that's gonna that's that'll be part of the video for um, finding Neva for this week. But um, yeah, I have a lot of bad memories in this town in Friona. I don't know if I've ever told y'all that, but some traumatic stuff happened to me. You want me to stop at Allsips or at Fast Stop, babe? Allsips is fine. Okay. So yeah, so you'll stop and fill up because gas is like cheaper here. Not by much, though. Should I go check it fast out and see if it's any cheaper? No, I just did I just fine. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Sorry about that, guys. See you soon. Hi, y'all. Um, this is just a quick video because I'm super excited. So, my beautiful friend Darla Antonio started a channel. Um, well, made her first video and it's called in the, it's in the bag crochet with Darla. And, um, I will link it below. Um, please go subscribe to her. I absolutely love her. I'm so happy. She's been like wanting to make a channel for or make a video for a while. And I'm so happy she did. So would you guys please, 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 please go and, um, Go subscribe to her and watch her video. I'm so happy, darling, you made your first one. Yay! Anyway, that's that. Hi, y'all. I know I'm still looking rough, but I haven't left the van yet. Uh, I'm waking up before I walk into that house because it's kind of cool outside right now with the windows down and the door open and yeah. Um, a neighbor over there is mowing, so I'm sorry for the noise. But yeah, um, I'll have to listen to this and see how annoying it is. But, um, so yeah, I slept in here and I was supposed to sleep with Ziggy. But Ziggy freaked out. 
for so what happened was what had happened was I come I was gonna come out here LJ was already at work I was gonna come out here bring my pillow my you know my crochet and the laptop so I could watch a little bit of Netflix which barely had a charge left so I only got to watch a little bit of stuff but so I come out here I was headed out here and there was an escape two which is Monroe and baby run out the door well, I'm trying to get out. So I get, I keep Ziggy in. I come out here, I put my stuff in the van, and I don't know what to do because they've done run off. And I'm like, okay, do I go look for them? And then if I'm not here when they come back, they take off again, or do I just wait and hope they come back? There's only one of me. So I waited, called LJ crying, well, messaged him crying. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, they escaped. So. Monroe came back and then baby came back and then I tried to put Ziggy in the van and she was too wound up from the other two escaping and she just I couldn't do it she was jumping all over me she's a heavy dog so she went back in the house plus I don't I thought she'd be calmer if the van wasn't running and we were just chilling because she got right in whereas she used to hesitate but she was all wound up so I was like forget it I took her back in the house and I slept out here by myself I wanted Ziggy to protect me because I'm more afraid of sleeping in my own neighborhood in a locked vehicle than I am out in the wilderness in a tent. Maybe because I would rather die being mauled by a bear than stabbed by a meth head. I don't know. But, yeah, that's that was my night. And this morning, uh, Breakfast of Champions, Premier Protein Coffee, love this, 30 grams of protein, and, of course, coffee who doesn't love coffee so yes um and there you go good morning from reagan my possessed van oh and look look who's here eating his his cereal with me before we go into our home hello someday this is gonna be our home oh yeah and we're not gonna have to leave it it's a mobile except for home. to sit outside yeah, except for to sit outside and, you know, drink coffee and eat breakfast and smell the woods and kind of stuff. So, yes. Get mauled by bears. Get mauled by bears instead of drug addicts. There you go. That's right. Good morning, y'all. Spent the night in the van. Today's the 15th. I slept in the van last night. By myself. Wasn't too bad. I need some coffee. That's for sure. Okay, y'all. So, this is the new flavor I, I got of protein shakes. Root, beer float, premier protein. 30 grams of protein. 160 calories. Anyway, this is yummy. It's not my favorite still. Pumpkin spice is my favorite. But, this one's pretty good. And what do you think, Captain Amazing? I think it's delicious. Watch this and drink it. Mm. Okay, so I forgot to do our readings. Hopefully you've waited through the video this far. Um, first we'll start with the Impasse Empowerment deck and read our card for today. And I uh, remind you today is Sunday the 17th. So. I don't, I need to start pulling them every day. I just am not going to read them for y'all every day. But when I do put it in here, like I'll read them on the days that I have a video and that I think of it. But Finding Neva videos, I hope will always have these. So, That's the card that I pulled. Okay. I love that picture. Look at the stars. Look up and remember that you are but a tiny speck in a large, mysterious universe. Let the magic of the stars connect you to your own special magic. And whether you believe in magic or not, you are everybody has certain powers inside of them whether it be intuition um, 
crochet talents, like something is deep down inside of their artistic talents. You, you have something in you that you can use as your own special magic, um, regardless of your religious beliefs. Like you have that inside of you. Everyone's born with that. What makes them unique as far as I'm concerned is what their magic is. But I do like, look at the stars. I love that picture. Magnets. Magnets are magic. Tell my people. <laughs> well, anywho, um, Captain Amazing wants to point out that magnets are magic. They're really not. I mean, I don't know how he thinks they're magic. They can be used in a magic act. But yeah, so there's your card for today. We will always do those on Sundays, and then I might do them throughout the week every once in a while, but Sundays will be for sure. Um, and then this is my book, um, Melody B. Well, the book I read from, Journey to the Heart by Melody B. Ty. See, today is the 17th, so let's see what this says. Okay, put yourself on equal ground. I sat in the booth across from my friend. I was fiddling with an empty soda can in front of me while we discussed the subject of power. Suddenly, he snatched the can away from me and began tossing it in the air, catching it, then tossing it up again. See how easy it is to take your power, he said. See how you just gave it to me? I watched amazed at how quickly I had relinquished my power, how vulnerable I was to the world around me. Then my friend smiled and stopped juggling the can. Relax, he said. It's an illusion. That's not really your power. It's an empty can and it's an illusion that anyone can take your power away from you. Hey, okay, this kind of goes with what we, oh, I like that. Each of us has an unlimited supply of power available. I, like I was talking about, like, what's inside of you. I love how they went together. I did not plan that. Okay. The power to think, to feel, to take care of others. The power to open our hearts, love, be gentle, honest, and kind. We each have the power to be clear and to trust to follow, trust and follow the guidance of our own hearts. Part of our journey to freedom, an important part, is equalizing our relationships. For many years, we may have believed the scales were tipped one way or the other in our work and love relationships. We may have believed that the others knew a great deal more than we did. Or we may have begun to believe that we had all the answers, but no one has our power. <clears throat> That's an illusion. So much so that sometimes the person who, person we believe is more powerful than us may be looking at us thinking we're the ones pulling the strings. Remember, if you give up your power or decide that someone has power over you, you'll begin grousing, sabotaging, and doing sneaky little things to equalize that relationship. To feel like you have your power. There's another way, a better way, one that will help you heal. Put yourself on equal ground. I really like this and I love how it went with this card. I feel like it did. Let me know if you think it did. But I, I kind of needed to hear that. It made me think of something and I'll leave you with this. And then this right here will be the end of the video. I don't know why I just did that. but So... I was never in a relationship where I felt like my our powers were equal. I always thought that somebody was over me. Um, even as an adult, I was quite afraid of my dad at times. You know, when you're a child, yes, your dad and mom are supposed to guide you and they don't really have more power over you, but you're not just learning your power, I think. And so therefore, um, but once you're an adult, like, you should still love and respect them if they've earned that love and respect. But at the same time, you should not be in fear. Like, I was afraid of my dad. Even as an adult, you should not be afraid of your dad. But that led into very bad, abusive relationships in my life where I always allowed someone to have power over me. And that really just spoke to me. And y'all know I love my Captain Amazing. 
and it made me realize that for once in my life I'm in a relationship I'm 51 years old and it took till now for me to be well for your however long we've been together kind of thing but you get what I mean like it took this long in my life to realize that I needed somebody that I felt we had equal power in the relationship I'm kind of witchy with that with the B um, oh. and I get a little demanding sometimes on LJ but I hope he feels the same way I do in that it's equal because when we make big decisions even small decisions a lot we do it together we ask each other what each other wants we discuss our our options um, and we make a decision it's kind of like this whole van life going camping stuff I'm wholeheartedly in and so is he he can't wait for it to just be an all the time thing we're still trying to we're still talking about ways we got to change it up because our first idea was wrong but I had my daughter ask me she goes are you sure it's not what just what you want I mean are you sure that LJ's on board with all this well for one yes he would like a change even not just to quit it'd be wonderful if you won the lottery and you didn't ever have to work again I mean we would still work I think we would do volunteer work and stuff because we would have time to do that but um, you know what I mean um, he's ready for a different change of pace even if it's still working for Walmart but traveling to different Walmarts we at least get to do our dream which is travel and see things and he'll still have an income coming in but so my daughter asked me that and it got me okay so I thought well I I thought he and I had I thought maybe he had said something to her and I got to I let it like sabotage my thinking I was like I thought we had discussed this in depth that it needed to be both of us that wanted to so then of course in other relationships I would have been too afraid to ask him but he and I he's my best friend and so I said hey you know is van life really what you want because Rihanna kind of made me feel like it wasn't and he said no babe I'm completely on board you know small or big decisions if whether it be a relationship as in a, a you know partnership a love relationship or um, if it's friendships when it comes to decisions within that friendship uh, uh, marriage whatever it might be I think that you should discuss things and your power should be equal I'm that my unfortunately my f past friendships were just like my my relationships um, one friend always had I allowed them to have have power over me we shouldn't do that it we should strive for us all to be equal because that's what it should be in life it's not unfortunately there are still people who are not equal to other people because of not because they're not equal but because other people try to take their rights away <clears throat> don't want to talk about that right now but what's going on with women right now um, the, that's what I need to fight that's what, okay what I'm my last words fight for equality in everything in in life in the world but also in your smaller your friendships your relationships the smaller things that make up the world fight for your like don't let anyone take your magic or your power from you what is in you is yours this is turning into a mental health Monday video anyway what is in you is yours no one can take that from you you can give it to them but no one can take it I allowed people to take that from me now did I do it out of fear yes so there was a reason I did it but now that I know no one's ever gonna take my that away from me again no one I am going to own who I am. I'm going to be my weird, sometimes vulgar, crude self. And I honestly think that I am going to be a lot happier than what my parents ended up being in the end. Mm -mm. Yeah, my dad, my dad let his childhood take his power as an adult away. Like that ruled him and it made him what people think as an ugly person he wasn't but he had mental problems and my mom she my dad had the power and then later on like 
someone very close to her um, really took some power away from her as far as she was always asking for attention and just a hello and love and um, don't do that to yourself. Don't go seeking something that someone doesn't want to give and don't give your power away trying to get that from them. If they don't, it should be equal and you shouldn't have to search for somebody's love and acceptance. And if you have to, then it's probably not the right place for you to be. Okay, that's the end. And happy Mental Health Monday on a Sunday, apparently. I will still do Mental Health Monday tomorrow. Um, I'm so excited. I'm Thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you, thank you to all of my loyal subscribers that have been here for a while. I love y'all.